hunting pass. reception and the campsite and if you drive on that valley you will get to the main gate this loop takes Follow. you following the crest of the mountains you see all the time the valley down there on the left and another valley on the right a different valley and from here you can see there's mountains everywhere this part of the country is not the flat Karoo anymore. So now the road starts descending on the other side of the mountain and into the, the second valley, the valley that was on the right. Great views from here. Naked mountains, almost naked. Very few trees on the mountains in front of us and a steep descent but the views are magnificent
Unfortunately, the rear camera was dirty because of the dust of the road. But if you look closer, you can see how the lion tries to sneak in in the staff headquarters and he steps on the electric fence on the ground and he jumps in the air, turning around. That was an awesome lion, awesome lion. What a great sighting. It is always exciting to see a lion, no matter how many you have seen in your life. But seeing a lion is always exciting. And especially if you have it like two meters from your vehicle, and such a beautiful lion, a full-grown lion, uh, awesome. This is the Sonerus 4x4 trail, one of the three 4x4 trails in the park and this one takes you to the northern side of the park. It starts approximately where the dam was and it's 14 kilometers long and it's a loop that it takes you back to where I started on the plains. little bit of everything here. Springbok, blue wildebeest, red hartebeest, mountain zebra, they're all together here around this waterhole. Driving here on these plains is very relaxing. It's a very very quiet part, very relaxing drive and you get to see many animals. There are different species mixed together all over these plains. This is not a, a huge park, I think it's like more like a small park, not even medium size, like a small park. You don't have uh, lots of routes to follow, basically you can go up the mountains or to be on the plains. If you want to see animals, definitely you have to be on the plains. These plains are really, really beautiful, um, full of animals, full of animals. The plains are so beautiful and 
horizon on both sides so you can see like a large group here a large group there another group there so all around you you will see different groups of uh, groups of animals and these you can only see when you go to parks with uh, these big huge planes that uh, it's not easy to find here in South Africa because the the veld is different it's not a country with huge planes like you can find in Eastern Africa and the diversity of animals is not huge but those animals that you find here you will see them in big amounts probably you'll see like four or five species all together mixed in uh, large groups like uh, maybe 15 20 of each and uh, if you stay on the plains anywhere you look at you probably see animals so in the Karoo this is by far the best to see animals something that you need to know is that although you will if you're lucky see uh, predators here this is not a park where you come to see lions or cheetahs as your main goal or you shouldn't be because uh, I was told there are only six lions on, in the park two males four females all belonging to the same family and uh, they say it's, it's more difficult to see a cheetah here than a lion so you can imagine with only six lions if you get to see them perfect eyes on the cake but you shouldn't come here with just with the purpose of seeing lions because um, probably this is not the best place to come for, for lions I have to say that the ablutions in this part are the best the best the main restroom it was like being in a hotel that good or if you compare them with uh, those on other parks these are by far the best uh, of course it's a small park you, can, you cannot uh, plan to be here for a week because um, uh, at the end you will do the same thing over and over but one or two days here very recommend how are you you living or you come back living living all right thank you thank you very much see you next time thank you Shab.